Ladies and gentlemen, good day. It's Badger from Oz, and welcome back to Brock Investigator. And we might have another detective, Ox. So we thought that that Mink was guilty. And now here's the thing: Are you certain? Is he really sure? Come to think of it, the blood stained. It wasn't red. It was orange. Because we're initially going to charge the, um, we we're initially going to charge the prick for murder, but maybe he could be telling the truth, though. But what if Ot is actually wrong? What if Ot is wrong? But what if Ot is not Ot, um, Mink is innocent? Hmm. So, have you been paying attention? You know. I've been wondering something for a while now. What are you looking at? Your tie, Dr. Mink. His tie? There's a red stain underneath it. What? Hey, the croc is right! But, wait! This isn't what you think. I... I ate an ant burger this morning. I wiped the stain away. I just forgot to check under here. This is tomato sauce. Tomatoes? Tomato sauce? Wait. Are you taking us for fools, Mink? Hey, wait. What the heck? <laughs> what is it doing? My tie. You licked it? What the f***? <laughs> At least. You believe me now, don't you? Oh my, what are you doing, Mr. Brock? Rocky is gross. Rocky, shut up, Tidy. Just as I thought, this is no blood. Told you. Not just on your tie. There's no blood on this corpse. What the heck? Are you serious? Check it for yourself. No, I believe you. So, Ot was then, wrong. My theory. I guess no more Detective Ot, apparently. Has faults, I'm afraid. Gigantic ones. Oh. I had a feeling this seemed way too perfect. This case is more complex than we thought. Someone's been trying to cover himself. What a relief. However, this means we took the wrong approach. Don't tell me. We need to re-examine this place from top to bottom. No way! Are you aware I'm not getting paid right now, Croc? I should be home, sleeping! I don't care. This may be one more hour of work for you, but this could mean the death penalty for the one sent to jail. Exactly! And your insistence to leave makes you even more suspect to my eye. <sighs> so, guess we need to find the real murderer. I'll be gone before I... Tidy, you better go back to your room. And no tidying, okay? Tidy follows orders. Gone! No, Tidy. Yeah, piss off, Tidy. No one likes you. Thank you, Mr. Detective. You saved my skin. Don't congratulate me too soon. You may still very well be the culprit, just trying to confuse us to appear innocent. Hmm. I'll just have to put my trust in you, then. When you're done, and you've got a plausible theory that doesn't involve me this time, Come and see. Come on, Not. We better examine each and every detail thoroughly this time. Yes, sir. So, turns out I was wrong. It turns out we were wrong. Mink, Mink isn't the murderer, apparently. Need to re examine the body. 
Oh, move out the way. A fake injury with tomato sauce. A fake injury. If that blood is fake, the scientist may not have died from a blow in the head after all. Then what? Huh. I like that sauce. Mr. Brock, you should really refrain from doing that. Yeah, you should. If he wasn't killed from a bump in the head, then how? I don't see any injury. The rat guard guy. Again? Gonna solve this myself. That'll be faster. <laughs> You'd better reply, man. Or care to become suspect number one. Do you believe Dr. Mink has the profile of a murderer? Hmm. Possibly. I could feel the tension between them lately. In any case, I don't know what happened. When not claimed you'd have noticed if Dr. Hush had stayed in the hall, you hesitated. You didn't watch the whole thing, did you? No way, man. I'm a professional. But still a human. Don't you have to go to the bathroom sometimes? I don't. Only the most capable are selected for this job. We can't afford to miss anything. Hmm. Can you swear it, then? No one could have went by without you noticing? Things are getting pretty goddamn weird again. Yeah? Yeah, I swear it. I, I was there the whole time. Watching. He doesn't sound all that confident. Listen. Earlier you affirmed Dr. Hush exited his office for the restroom. When did this happen exactly? Hmm. Can't remember. Of course you can't remember. I arrived. Sometime after you arrive. Interesting. This is crucial. I need you to be precise. Hey! Do you know what kind of job this is? Same boring thing every day. No surprise, no action, nothing ever happens. Well, usually. Oh, how lucky. Uh, never mind. Make some effort. What happened the last time Dr. Hush exited his room? When and where did he go? Told ya! Ugh. My brain wouldn't register such trivial things. But there's a way to find out. What's this? The door monitoring. What? You keep a registry of door openings? And you're only telling me now? I thought this wouldn't be important. Not important? How the heck are we supposed to run this investigation without all the information at hand? Hey, lower your tone. I'm the boss here. Oh, lower your tone. Oh. Data. Oh, I'm getting more suspicious of this one now. Only security agents are allowed to access the reading device. But I'll make a special exception. Check it. I got something. Check the door monitoring. This should help your investigation. Come on, do your job. What do you think I'm doing? Don't know. And that's the problem. I thought we had the door monitoring, monitoring thing. Yeah, no need for that. Listen, I'd like to amend for my behavior earlier. My tablet offers a variety of features that you may find useful. So it's not just your research? You hid this from us? No. These features seemed unrelated to the case. But after what we've learned, I'm not sure anymore. Let me give you access. Lend me your finger. Hey! I'm adding you to the authorized guests. You'll have unlimited access for an hour. Oh, oh yeah, thanks. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting.
some gibberish. Hey, that's my research. It's highly confidential and valuable. I'd better not waste my time with this. Got more questions. Think this could be a clue? What? You're asking me? I thought you were a lousy detective, but that was still an understatement. Just say you don't want to help. Stay put. I don't have all day, you know. Let's see. His hand is literally covered by nanites. I better write this down. Ceiling. Dr. Mink, when we arrived, I heard some music coming out of your room. Well, it's in my best interest to put all my cards on the table, so I allowed myself a short, fun session. Oh, and here I thought you scientists were just a bunch of workaholics. So, you were dancing? Please don't rub salt in the wound. What music? Is that important? Might be. Oh, tech free. It's a very catchy tune. I can never get it out of my head. Where in the room were you positioned when you were dense, uh, having fun? Hmm. I believe I was close to the door. I stopped when I heard you knocking and took a peek at the door screen. Did you notice anything unusual by that time? If by unusual, you mean a croc detective breaking my door and forcing his way through? Then definitely, yes. Oh, sorry about that. You should have opened it the first time. I was scared. And I have little patience. Oh, hang on, there's a trap up there. Wait a sec. Is that a ladder inside that vent? Yes. The maintenance ladder. I remember an agent using it to remove a package stuck in there. Any way to bring it down? Use my tablet. Oh, nice. Yep. Here's that ladder. A rudimentary maintenance ladder, more precisely. It doesn't really feel safe. Do you access it sometimes? Are you crazy? I fear heights. Okay. Time to explore. Are you sure about this, Mr. Brock? No other choice. We can't let any possible clue undiscovered. Exactly. No, I mean... Will there be enough room for you to get through? Hey, I'm not that big. You'll see. Oof, that's tight. Mm, maybe time for a diet after all. Hey, what did I just touch? Ugh, it's all sticky. What is it? Oh, it tastes good. What did you just drink again? I've lit it up for you. What the hell is that stuff? Nice. Yep. That's interesting. There's tomato sauce. Oh, thank God. It's just tomato What's sauce. What's it doing here? Hmm. I'll think about this later. Better get out of here before I get stuck. Yes, you better get out of there There's before you get stuck. There's some kind of huge pipe at the top. Can't climb through there, I'm afraid. Then uh, I shall keep moving forward to reach the other side. Ouch! Oh, 
That's quite the drop. Alright. Well, there's a lamp. This is the same model as the one next to Dr. Hush. I should take it. Oh, we got a lamp. Okay, so now I can use it. Oh, no, crap. What am I doing? Um. Oh, we can use this magnifying glass. Oh, get the hell out of my way, please. Oh, for Christ's sake! This is really pissing me off. This is absolutely pissed me off. Oh, move out the way! Some kind of grease spot. Brock, knock it off! Oh, just lick the floor? Gotta be certain. Well, that's coffee. Yeah. What if you use the magnifying glass on that then? Wait, how come there's a ton of nanites on this particular coffee spot? Mm. Wait, we saw something here. Hmm. According to the map. What are you doing? It disappeared. Something's off. What do you mean, Mr. Brock? Just a hunch. Huh. Oh. oh! You broke the wall? I barely touched it. Some paper thin slab was obstructing this. A hole? Looks like it. And this leads right to your room, Dr. Mink. I had no idea. It's small. No one would fit. I wonder if anything got through there, though. Oh, what if Dr. Mink went through there? That's up to us to find out. Hmm. It is another button. Because I saw a ramp before, so I wonder if this is still it. It is. What? Don't eat those! They're clues! But... I'm hungry. You're not hungry. Hey, tidy. Just a hunch. Did Dr. Hush put out that ramp for you? Yep, yep. For me. So I can access the table. Got made and modified. For me. Is that so? Makes sense. Bots weigh tons and cannot jump over there. Right. Okay. So that looks like the lamp, yeah? Anything you can tell me about this lamp? It's supposed to be yours, right? I guess. That's a connected object, of course. So there's data in it. You should check it. Better take it, then. Another lamp! this button for? Nothing happens when I press it. That's an analyzer. It can list the detailed components of any object. For connected objects, it will display the information registered in the memory, but you can also put any organic matter, liquid or solid. Oh, guess I'll have to put on an item I want to analyze? Exactly. Let's see what the supposed murder weapon has to say. All necessary stuff for a lamp, for sure. Dr. Hush, okay. Huh? Maybe they exchanged them by accident? Here are the logs. Hmm, there. Major shock at 1102. Wait, let me check. Hmm, you're right. 
That's the only relevant information on there. So you got electrocuted. Okay. That's something I didn't know. So, is this the murder weapon after all? We shall find out. Dancing, huh? Go on with your investigation, please. Hey, every detail counts. Object or any organic item on here to obtain information. Hmm. I can't see anything important. Nice hands, though. Put a connected object or any organic item on here to obtain information. Some gibberish. Hey, that's my research. It's highly confidential and valuable. Better not waste my time with this. <laughs> Mr. Brock, I think we can use that tablet to do medical searches. Of course. This is data I've gathered myself, merged with a specialized local copy of the TriWeb. I have an offline access to information that the general public will never see. Is there a specific topic you're interested in? Let me think. Are you serious? Very serious. Don't you love them too? I prefer regular tube food. Ah, uh, you youngsters don't know what's good. Anyway, here. Elders. Told you. A few nanites here on this hand, but not enough to conclude anything. He may not wash his hands often. Uh, that's not very clean. Can't see any of those tiny bots from Dr. Mink, though. Cheap, but good enough for me. Uh, let's see. What else do we have to do? Oh, we need... Well, like, what to... am I looking at? Oh, this is crucial. This is juicy. This is today's monitoring. That thing records the time each door was opened. And some icons to differentiate an entrance or an exit. I see. An arrow on the left for an entrance, on the right for an exit? Wait, so left the middle room. Dr. Hush left the middle room. There's also the identity of who opened the room. Everyone's recorded. What about Tidy? The maintenance bot. 
Wait a second. Yeah, tracked as well. So what if he did carry Dr. Hush? Okay. Okay, let's study this. The restroom. Hmm. A lot more activity than I expected. Uh, Tidy was last recorded entering there at 424. Nothing later. Even in the other rooms. After Dr. Hush and Tidy, Dr. Mink also entered the room. I wonder if their path crossed there. The restroom. Hmm. Uh, Tidy was last recorded and nothing later. Dr. Mink's room? What a surprise. Despite the corpse being in Dr. Mink's room, not much activity was recorded there. Basically, Dr. Mink went out, then came back a little later. The time matches the restrooms. I guess he simply went for a rest? In any case, Dr. Hush never opened the door. Neither did Tidy. Are you sure? That doesn't make much sense, but at least it confirms Dr. Mink's statement. Dr. Hush's room. If I'm reading this correctly, Dr. Hush was last recorded at 5.04, then disappeared. Wait a sec. Why did you open that door at 5.10? Told ya, I check the rooms regularly. Right after the doctor went out? Uh, seems so. My memory is confused. Hmm. What's this fourth door? The main entrance. Wait. Didn't you say no one came or exited the place today? Then how do you explain these records? That was you. At 4.38? Uh, no. Wait! I know! That was me! I took my shift at 4.38. Is that so? <laughs> Looks like you performed another check at 9, right? Yep. That's when I realized Dr. Hush was nowhere to be found. I called the cops discreetly. Okay. After Dr. Hush and Tidy, what if their path Again! I'm gonna solve this myself! That'll be faster! <laughs> you better reply, man. Or care to become suspect number one. Mystery can only be solved by gathering truthful information. Don't you agree? Sure. Then why are you lying to me? What are you talking about? Don't play fool with me. Some of your statements are clearly contradictory. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, guy. Interrogation. Let's see. Miss something in the restroom? Uh, let me uh, reconsider my point of view. Now who's lying? A burnt power socket. Not too far from the body. Wait, so what about that? think that would work. <laughs> it beeped! And... that's it? What did you expect? A talking lamp? Well, yeah. It's a connected object. You should be able to get more info with my tablet. Good idea. I need to put a connected op... 
Let's see what the supposed murder weapon has to say. Huh. All necessary stuff. Huh? Maybe they exchange. Here are the log. Hmm. There. Me. Hmm. You run so. We shall. I need to put a connected object. Will Dr. Hush's lamp reveal some secrets? What? So, fatal damage early this morning? Curious. So, detective, how long is this going to take? Let's see. Sorry for earlier. Uh, tell me more about your work. Currently, I strive to improve the nanite's efficiency. Could these be used to kill someone? Doubtful, but technically possible. With bad programming, they could destroy the host. But we've been working on this technology for a while now. This never happens. Although... Hmm. Go ahead. Destructive effects can happen if the nanites were mixed with specific organic elements. Such as... Corrosive acid? That would definitely leave some traces. Could it be possible to destroy a body without external damage? I think I encountered some plants with this ailment. I would have to check my logs. Well, let's just assume it happened. How would we know? The nanites are trained for survival. Once the host is near death, they leave. But they couldn't last long on the outside. You'd find inactive nanites less than three feet away from the body. I'd better check the surroundings for any nanites in unexpected places. Can't see them with my own eyes, but I'm sure I have a right tool for the job. I know it'll sound harsh, but do you believe Dr. Hush committed suicide? I can't deny that he had been acting strange recently. Oh, okay, so, so that's something we didn't expect. That's something we gotta consider. I guess it's not outside the realm of possibility. I just find it weird he would do this in my office. Unless he really hated you. Do you think Tidy could have played a role in the murder? I don't see how. He cannot access my office. Besides, Dr. Hush is his maker. He could never... Hurt his creator directly? Yeah. Uh, let's keep some distance with that reasoning. My trust with technology is limited. A true detective never turns down any lead. When can we expect the result of your investigation? Uh, well, no. I didn't finish interrogating everyone. You sure did interrogate me. Well, hopefully we solve this damn case soon. Are you done investigating? No. <laughs> you sure did interrogate me. Just a moment. We'll continue this discussion later. I'm not the only one here. Dead daddy! Still dead. I'm afraid so. What can you tell me about this lamp? Daddy! Let me clean! Focus. I need useful info. Cleaning. Always useful. What can you tell me about this lamp? Dirty. Focus. Cleaning. Tidy? No moving. Yep, yep. Good boy. Hmm. Gotta try something as well. Got more questions. Let's resume our interrogation. Ah. Right. According to the records, you opened Dr. Hush's door at 5.10. At the exact moment, Dr. Hush's lamp received a violent shock. Interesting coincidence, don't you think? Uh, shock? I guess that's shocking. <laughs> Did you accidentally drop the lamp or something? No, never touched it. I've also noticed something unusual. At 9 o'clock, you routinely checked all three rooms. However, at 5.10, you only opened Dr. Hush's door. Why? 
Um... Oh, I remember now. I heard a noise. Is that so? Might this be the sound of a lamp crashing down on the floor? Hmm. I guess that's possible, but when I looked inside, everything was normal. Are you certain? Yeah, Dr. Hush always keeps his room tidy. If that lamp was lying on the floor, I'd have noticed. Was Tidy there? I'm pretty sure he was down, charging. What about Dr. Hush, then? What was he doing? Let me think. Mm, I didn't see him. You didn't? Pretty sure of it. He wasn't in the hall, either. So he was already gone from his room? Yeah, must have been. Interesting. Hmm. It's also another 510 one, interesting. Something doesn't add up. At 510, you heard a noise and looked for Dr. Hush, who wasn't in his room, nor the hall. Yeah. Then, the glaring contradiction is, weren't you worried? What? Think. You had no idea where Dr. Hush was, and yet you didn't look for him in the other rooms? Why? You're right. Oh, the plot thickens very much I only started to worry about him disappearing at nine but I can't remember the reason I wasn't alerted earlier well I have my theory you do yeah this is the reason you weren't worried at that time there you go miss something in the restroom uh... Let me, uh, reconsider my point of view. Now who's lying? Alright. Which one's the meaty? It says something about that. Meaty me or whatever it's called. Oh, that's the one! Okay. Do you wish to watch a livey? Not now. You're lying, but that's fine. Other actions are available. Say or think help to get a list. Hmm. Help. Error. Unable to connect. Reverting to offline mode. One record found. Would you like to play it? A record? Why not? I'm in the restroom. That's Dr. Hush's voice. He must have recorded this by accident. That happens sometimes. An accident? <laughs> this myself that'll be faster <laughs> you better reply man or care to become suspect number one let's resume our interrogation ah. right I made a strange discovery in the restroom at 511 the meaty me played a pre-recorded sample sounding like dr. hush what did it say? I'm in the restroom. <coughs> Ring any bells? Yeah, sure it does. You're right. When I started calling for Dr. Hush, I heard him say that. The voice came from the restroom, so... You assume Dr. Hush was in there. So, he wasn't? This would be the logical conclusion, which then means... The old man was kaput before that time. Let's not jump to conclusions and assume he couldn't be in the restroom either. That was quite a messed up day. I can't see any link between those two clues. Take your shift? Three o'clock. Every day. Interesting. 
Then how do you explain entering the lab at 438? What? I didn't... Check the monitoring. What's written? 438. Ooh. Besides, the arrow indicates an exit, not oh. an <laughs> You owe me an explanation. Uh, all right. I admit, I did take my shift at 3. And the door was indeed open at 438. But I didn't lie. It was me. We're not only agents. We also do secretarial work. By 438, I received a call. We're required to pick up and reply to every call we get. But it didn't work. What do you mean? It's a high security building, so what? External calls don't work well. The line was awful. Awful and crackling. Uh, I'm stunned that kind of thing happens in the drums. But it does, if you ask me. No matter how they claim technology advances, nothing ever works perfectly. When that happens, I open the main entrance so the transmission gets better. So, you stood at the main door for a while? Yep. Who was on the line? Well, no. It was just music. Music? Yeah, Tech Dream. Hmm. <laughs> this Wait, sounds Tech familiar. Dream? Cool. Here we go. Of course. It's all the rain. It's really catchy, so I kept listening. How long? Well, oh, maybe a minute? After a while, I figured this was a spam call and hung up. I know what you think. Yeah, I looked away. But it wasn't much risk. The lasers were active. No one could get past, in or out. Wait, lasers? I hear something about lasers. But anything could happen inside. Oh, this is a major blunder. Why'd you think I didn't tell you? Didn't think much of it at the time, but started your investigation I recalled that moment please I'm begging you don't tell anyone that mistake could cost me my job well no you know what I don't do. Should we keep the secret or not? I don't know. Uh, we're not going to keep the secret. Sorry. This blunder is a critical failure that must have led to this murder. Oh no. I worked so hard to get accepted in this society. I, I refuse to accept one minute of inattention breaking my whole career. Look. Let me finish my investigation. I'll gather all the facts, then we shall see. Okay. Though I have to report this to Wes, it's my duty. I've recorded that conversation. It'll get sent as soon as I get out of here. I'm not done with you, though. How come there's no record of your entrance at three? Simple. I reset the statistics each time I arrive. Oh my god, here we go. For confidentiality, we're not allowed to store them for more than a day. Can't get that freaking configuration panel to do the job automatically. Must have been programmed by some crazy engineer who's not living in the real world. Wait, crazy engineer? Wait, is Shane engineer? Uh, I know the feeling. Didn't you mention you had no control? It's all or nothing. There's no way to insert or edit data. Just remove everything. Okay. Doesn't matter. Dr. Hush was safe and sound when I arrived. Guess I'll have to take your word for that one. So, uh, are we done? Depends. 
Hiding anything else? Nope. All good. Still can't believe it. Why did this have to happen during my watch? I've learned not to blame fate. Otherwise, I do it constantly. Just let me know if anything else comes to mind. Sure thing. Well, that's bloody interesting. Avoid crippling my precious plant right in front of me. If it's that precious, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> Flower. I need to put a connected object or any organic item on here to obtain information. So, what's this flower? Phonexy? Hmm, I wonder if this has particular medical effects. I need to understand something. You're not the only one. Hmm, I've seen this somewhere already. I have bothered him. Got a feeling those nanites. I have bothered him enough. Got a feeling those nanites played a part in Dr. Hush's demise. I'll need some proof. Are you done investigating? Can't shake the feeling I may have missed some clues. Probably shouldn't make an announcement yet. Be patient. This isn't an ordinary case. Oh, too bad. All this stress is killing me. I'll look around for clues. You better find out the culprit. Open the fridge from the restroom. Okay. Left side. That's a fridge. Dancing, huh? Go on with your... Hey, every detail counts. Food. Wait a minute. What's wrong? There should be ant burgers in there. I ate the last one a while ago. I should have ordered more automatically. I thought there were more in there. Oh, I forgot. External communication is out. Well, it doesn't that look like an ant burger? You ate an ant burger? Tell me more about it. How is that interesting? You never know. Well, I have some kind of ritual. I always have an ant burger while watching my science show. This morning, I got pretty angry though. There was only one left, and it was already unfrozen. Curious. Do you think Dr. Hush wanted to eat it? Possibly, though he usually dislikes these, and it was in one piece. I bet he gave it a shot, and then decided against it. Yeah. So, Detective, how long is this going to take? Just a moment. I'm not the... Let's see if there's any more clues I'm missing. Third icon, medical search. And then you gotta ask Ot or something like that. Let's 
some. Hey. Better not waste my. Is there a specific topic you're interested in? Let me think. Isn't that the plant lying on Mr. Guard's desk? Yep. Okay. I don't quite understand why you need info on this, but you're the detective. I found something. Uh... What's going on? Something's annotated below. Oh, hang on. Psst. Do you think? Yeah, Dr. Mink must have written this. I need to understand something. You're not the only one. I'll look around for clues. You better find out the culprit. Empty. <laughs> this is the restroom. Nanite there. Oh, I found. Mm. Is there a sink in a restaurant? Oh, that's the sink. What are you doing? Just checking what could have sunk in there. Smells like coffee. Great. It, but you totally destroyed my theory in an instant. I uh, don't feel bad. If it hadn't been for that fake blood, I'd probably have thought the same too. Hey, get out of there. Oh, get out of there. Hey, get out of there. Out, oh, come on, get out of there. Good. Leave. Alright, so. Um... I just used my friggin' magnifying glass, you son of a bitch. Oh my god, this game is really frustrating. I'm tired of this chapter already. The heck? It's full of nanites stuck in that sink. Not only this, there seems to be some kind of flower. Dr. Mink must have flushed some experiments. What? No, I've never done such a thing. Then, what are they doing here? Beats me. See? I'm a real detective. I was expecting some badge. Now, this is way cooler. So, detective, how long is this going to take? Just a moment. I'm not the... Oh, what would you do in my place? Turn everything inside out. We need as many clues as we can. Finding clues. Dead daddy. Still dead. I'm afraid so. Uh, did he bug out? Okay. Stay here. I need to use a lot of hints. Coffee cup on the shelf on the right. It's like coffee cup. Oh, that coffee cup. I'm surprised to see only one cup in here. Doesn't Dr. Hush drink coffee? He does. Actually, he always drinks his coffee in the restroom. I know him. 
He couldn't bear spilling a few drops on his precious materials while working in his office. But he uses auto-degradable cups. Throw them into the sink and they're automatically reduced into powder. I prefer solid cups. I don't care what they say about lack of hygiene or whatever. Coffee tastes better in it. Yeah, I can relate to that. I need to understand something. You're not the only one. I'll look around for clues. You better find out the culprit. I I how to say croc dude. I should inspect this further. Only one way to do it. Could that... you do this more gently? I don't have all day, you know. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Plenty of room now. Looks like pills? Yep, definitely pills. Whose are they? Don't look at me. I've never seen those. Is Dr. Hush taking some medication? That's highly probable. No one else lives here. Keep in mind, I've barely had contact with him lately. Maybe you should analyze them. Good idea. Hmm. Upon further inspection, uh, that's not very clean. Can't see any of those tiny bots from Dr. Mink, though. I keep asking for clues. And I'll to do a medical search? Okay. Is that an appeal that you got from Western? I need to put a connected object or any organic item on here to obtain information. Is there a specific topic you're interested in? Let me think. Nothing comes to mind. Maybe later then. Investigating. I'm certain I've missed one or two clues. Maybe I still. Oh, wow, what the hell? This isn't an ordinary case. Oh, too bad. Just a moment. I'm not the. Right, so I've been trying this for like nearly now. Let me just have oh wait, restroom pill. You're confusing, Mr. Brock. You're not supposed to use an item on that icon. They all look the same to me. Excel 500? Never heard of it. Oh, use the tablet. Examine the pill. Uh, wait, did I do it wrong? Oh my god, really? I can't wait till this investigation is finished. I shouldn't have saved the chapter too early. I need to put a connected. Excel 
sell five some gibber hey. better not waste my you're confusing mr they all look the same excel i need to put a cut what would you do in my place turn everything we need as many Oh, wait, I was using the wrong tablet? No, I was using the right tablet. I need to understand. You're not. I don't I'll know what the hell around. I'm doing. Better. I'm this close to just giving up on this investigation, like, I really am. It's like playing the same damn thing. Got more questions. I believe Dr. Hush was taking these. So, can you confirm? No idea. Come on. So, uh, are we done? Depends. Hiding anything else? Nope. All good. Still can't believe it. I've learned not to blame fate. Just let me know if anything else comes to mind. Sure thing. Oh my gosh, so we can't even do it. Oh my god, don't we have another tablet there? Oh wait, there's one there. That tablet might contain crucial information. Hmm. I better take it. Yeah. Good thinking. But it's Is that I need to put a connected up Excel Yeah, I tried this numerous times, it's getting Never annoying. It. I'm starting to regret playing this game today. It's a waste of time. I'm just gonna give up. I've lost my patience. So, detective? How long is this going to take? Are you done investigating? I'm certain I've missed one or two clues. Maybe I still have enough evidence for my theory? But I'm getting hungry, so... Okay. I guess it's worth a shot. Are you sure? You don't seem that competent. Oh, here we go. Mostly. Very well. I'll gather everyone. 